allegations against the Miami-Dade police tonight, coming from a young South Florida man who is blind. He claims that he was arrested but never taken to jail, never taken to a police station. Instead, he says he got taken for a ride. Here's CBS4 investigator Jim DeFeeney with the story. Now, undercover, profiling, handcuffing people, detaining them for no reason. I sure would like to know the reason. On August 27th at approximately 8.30 p.m., four plainclothes Miami-Dade police officers pulled onto a dead-end street in South Dade. They arrested three young black men, and what followed was caught on camera. Hey, hey, yo, yo, can I get the band on my name? Stay here. Back up, sir, Sam. Go no, on. Shut the hell up, man. The three men were arrested because police said there was a marijuana cigarette on the ground near where the trio was standing. Two of the men were released on the spot after signing tickets promising to appear in court. The third man, Tan A.T. Man Burke, wasn't given that option. I couldn't do nothing about it, so I had to just sit here and take it until they took me to where they was going to take me to. He blind, damn Y'all don't tell y'all walk into the car, how the don't know? Blind since birth, the 21-year-old can't see anything out of his right eye and is only able to make out general shapes and lights with his left. He's able to navigate around his block in the daytime, but is afraid to wander too far at night. I gotta be with somebody, or I call somebody and tell them to come meet me right at this spot, then I walk with them. 20 minutes after taking him, Burke says the officers stopped the car in a dark and desolate section of South Dade. They put me off somewhere in Google somewhere, where there wasn't no street lights and no houses, and it was dark. You told them you were blind? Yes, I told them in the car I was blind and I couldn't see. Did they seem to care? Now that I know of, they put me out somewhere where ain't no street lights out of no houses. Out on the edge of some vacant farmland, they made him sign an arrest form he couldn't read. Note how his signature is at an odd angle. Burke said he asked them to drop him off closer to his house, but they refused. He had no cell phone. The police had taken it. Unsure where to go, Burke started walking. He kept his right foot on the pavement and his left foot in the weeds to prevent him from wandering into the middle of the street where he might get hit by a car. Were you mad? Were you angry? Were you... I was just trying to get home. That's all it was. They're trying to find my way home. Eventually, he came upon a stranger who helped him. Forty-five minutes to an hour later, he come walking through the door all sweaty up. You know, like, I'm sorry, how you get out? He said, they released me way in the back. Marvin Armstrong is Burke's stepfather and the man behind the camera filming Burke's arrest. Why y'all arresting him? Burke believes the police took him away as payback for Armstrong's actions. They say, um, your, your stepfather got a lot of mouth. You know we don't like that. But Burke said the cops have stopped him dozens of times. And he knows in his neighborhood, he's not alone. I feel they stopped him because they see a black man walking down the street. I don't know what to say about it. I just feel bad about it. That's it. Last month, prosecutors dropped the charges against Tanny Burke. In a statement to CBS4 News, the Miami-Dade Police Department said they had opened an investigation into what happened to Burke and would not comment until that investigation is concluded. <laughs> I'm Jim Feeney, CBS4 News tonight. Wow, quite a story. Absolutely. Well, Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer joining us. Stepped outside for dinner. A nice, clear night. Nice. Isn't it very nice?